This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Are you ready for some high adventure coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network? The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. I love my days off to see no pretty birds, away from psycho partner, my boss who won't stop hitting on me, and some rogue global organization bent on destruction. I should have become a game warden. That's what I should have done. But no. What's that? Hunters? What's in season? Who is driving like a madman out here in the middle of nowhere? Those are gunshots. What's going on? You are one hard man to find! Echo, what in the name of sanity is going on? Get in! But it's my day off! The guys behind me shooting at us don't know that! Get in! I am in no mood for- Get in this car right now! Bossy. Before you ask, our HQ is under attack. Say what? Stop talking! An ARC group breached the perimeter and are trying to get inside the building. They've already blown up some of our vehicles. Echo! Not yet! And not only that, someone is attacking the agency's computer system. Control is losing her mind and wanted me to find you. And I suppose she thinks it's the mysterious rogue group of agents we've been after? Yes! And she wants to know which one of us led them back to our HQ. That was close! Hold on! Led them back to... Is she out of her mind? Don't answer that. What's Pendergast doing? Trying to beef up the firewall and spike their system in return. How many agents are there? Ours or theirs? Yes. A dozen or so of theirs. We have about 20 or so, but many of them are analysts and not combat ready. Swell. These turkeys are gaining on us. You sweat the small stuff. Watch and learn. Watch and learn what? For your information, this particular vehicle is equipped with an electromagnetic pulse relay. Why doesn't anyone tell me these things? This thing has an EMP device? Sure. Pay attention. Whoa, you just fried that car's electronics! Yeehaw! So step on it already. You got it, boss man! You got anything in here to drink? I'm thirsty. Say what? You're listening to Itchy Trigger Finger, produced by Stage Struck Audio Theater. Episode number five, The Raid. I can see some of our people on the roof. They were trying to secure it when I left to find you. Some got inside then? Yep. Great. And on my day off... Sorry about that. We should have let them know. We sure should have. Just... Get us inside, Echo. Pendergast has a door ready at the rear. Watch it, man with a rifle. Hang on, Frost! Not a problem. You just splattered that guy on the hood. You make a nice ornament. Hold on, boss man! I don't see a door open. You get it! You worry too much. I sure do. I just don't want to die today. Lighten up! You stress out too much. The reason I'm alive today. Watch out. See? Floor this thing so he can shut it. We'll have to take the stairs. Of course we will. You're grumpy today. I wonder why. Not my fault! Stop talking and let's find control in Pendergast. Whoever on the other end is good. Better than you? What a question to ask. It's the right one to ask, Pendergast. There are maniacs with big artillery out there and maniacs trying to sabotage our computer system. Fine. The answer is whoever it is is better than me. Happy? Ecstatic. Want coffee? What? 
I could go for a medium roast right now. Want one? Control, as you just pointed out, we're under attack. That doesn't mean I can't go without my daily dose of caffeine. Apparently. There. There what? I whipped up a spike, hoping to distract him from our firewall. Him? It could be a woman on the other end. Sorry, under duress, I forget my gender pronouns. You sure do. Why don't you go for that coffee? If you weren't strapped in that wheelchair... You'd what? Kick you in the... For your information, I can hear you two yelling through the building. Frost, I thought it was your day off. If that's an attempt at humor. No, I thought it was, right? Control, please. Yeah, sure. Where are these guys, Pendergast? I've had to focus on the computer system. And? I bought myself a minute or two while whoever it is at the other end deals with an attack on their own firewall. How much chance do they have of getting through ours? Yesterday, I would have told you not a chance, but today... Is another day, apparently. You said it. Echo? Yes, boss? Are you armed? Just a couple of pistols. They caught us unaware. Sorry. No apologies. Where's baby? My rifle? In the armory with George. Is George there? Yes, I talked to him earlier. All right. Echo, go get baby a couple of zip guns and whatever else you think you'll need. Grenades? I don't know... If we damage the building, that's fine. Shouldn't we ask Control? These are my calls. She needs to contact the CIA and see who these clowns are. Or the military. She mentioned that she would earlier, but then she decided she needed a coffee. Ugh, me too. Frost! Kidding. Echo, go. Firepower. Now. On it like stink gun! Just get out of here! Okay, so what's the truth? Just how screwed are we? According to that, not good. Get on it. You don't have to tell me twice. I don't think so, pal. A hundred points to me. George! George, it's me. Put that thing down. Echo? I barricaded myself in the armory. I can see that. I need to get armed to the teeth, as in right now. How many of them are in the facility? George, sorry, less talk and more getting me some artillery. Sorry, you're right. Now you're speaking my language. Are you going to need any help out there? No offense, George, but that's not your department. Your job is just to load me up. Right, I just thought I could... Down! George! We need to get you to the infirmary. You need to go on and clear the building out of these jerks. It's just my shoulder. Yeah, and you're bleeding like a stuck pig. Just go! George! Just go and do what you're best at. I'll send someone to help you out. I'm fine. Just conserve your strength, big man. I'll send in the cavalry. And in the meantime, I've got some target practice to do. Well? Get out of my line of vision, Frost. I'm trying to block this guy from frying our system. Sorry, why not just shut the thing down? Are you insane? We're linked to too many other systems out there. Just give me some breathing room. Don't you have anything you could be doing? I'm waiting on Echo. There you are, Frost. Coffee? No, I don't want a stupid coffee. We are under attack. I know that, but I'm going to try and keep things under control. Nicely said, Control. Getting a cup of Java is pushing the limit. I also did some recon for your info. You did what? Recon. Look it up. Since when do you operate in the field? Who are you talking to anyway? I had two tours in Iraq while you were pushing pencils. I never pushed a... Children! I need to concentrate here! How are the defense protocols working in the system? They're toast. Wonderful! Any good news? I'm able to program a spike when I get half a chance and send it back to the hacker on the other end. And? It gives me a couple of minutes to catch my breath. We need to take him out, as in dead. Can you ping his location? I've been trying to do that as well, but he's got me scrambled. What can I do? Stand there and drink your coffee. You're funny. Really, what can I do? What now? It's Echo. Go ahead. He got shot? I just said that! Okay, stay calm and do things for me. Go! Take them all out. But she could keep one alive. Not an option. Frost! Let me run this control. Fine. And the second thing, boss man? Stay off comms unless absolutely necessary. 
I'll get suited up in case you need me. Got it. Over and out. What if she... Control. Go see how bad George is. If you can't patch him up where he is, get him to the infirmary. I'm not carrying a gun. Now you are. I like it when you're forceful, Frost. Remember that dinner you wanted us to have? Of course I do. If we get out of this, it's on you. You're on. Hey, that was close, dirtbag! 200 points to me. <laughs> what were you doing at the prisoner bay? Fiddling with the lock? What for? Uh, oh well, hold that thought. Ross says don't overlook any detail. What does no radio contact mean? Unless absolutely necessary, you said so. Okay, fine. And please tell me you've taken out some of the opposition. <laughs> what a dumb question. Echo. Got one of them at the prisoner bay. He was trying to key the lock. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. He's got some kind of gadget that he was about to latch onto the lock system. Perimeter check at the prison bay, Echo. And don't stray too far away from it until you hear from me. What's going on? Is this a prison break? What did we learn in Prague? If it's those same names with Miller at the helm, he likes to run divergence to get what he wants. So do they want what's in our computer system, or is the hacker a distraction? Or the prison bay. Who do we have down there? Harry Finley. He knew about the Prague gig, didn't he? And he's an ex of controls. Don't strain the brain too much, Bendergast. What's the word on our hacker? I've got him back tracing two spikes I sit in his way. How much breathing room? A couple of minutes. I'm sure he's typing like a demon on his end. Any luck on location? I can't ping him. I've tried several times. You can't backtrace his programming? I get zinged all over the globe, Frost. What can I say? This hacker is a pro. Someone who should be working for us. Crazy thought. What if you let him through? Are you out of your mind? You'll have full access to everything the agency has. Agents, locations. Okay, okay. But what if you let him through? I just said he's about to come back at me, Frost. What's your idea? A bit of rerouting. What are- Can you do that? Lure him into a trap? I, I can't program quick enough for that. The Pentagon owes us a favor, let's call it. You mean reroute him their way? Let them play ball with him. <laughs> you devious thing, you. Where are you headed? To talk to Harry. George? Hello? Control? You better watch it. One came through the other end. Where? Oh, there. Hello, comrade. I sure hope you brought more than just that little old gun. Control? Hold that thought, George. Frost! Get that gun out of my face. Anyone else lurking near the prison bay? I took out another one trying to cut a hole in the ceiling. How many of them are there? We should have them by now. Does Pendergast know? He's busy. I need to go see Harry Finlay. That guy? What for? Hold that thought. Might want to watch your 12 o'clock. On it, boss man. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, you little devil. I would love to know who you are. I know already. He's got me distracted on the firewall at the moment. Go away, I'm busy. Any work? Several, and they're all foul. Got it. You bum, it's not like I don't have enough to deal with at the moment. This jerk on the other end is making me earn my pay. See what you can do with that? Finally, a breather. Now let's see what trouble I can cook up with our buddies in the Pentagon. I can't believe you took him out. Echo isn't the only one around here who's armed to the teeth. You shot him in the face. Yep, he'll be tough to ID, won't he? Come on, George. Your lips are flapping too much, and we need to get you to the infirmary. I bled out quite a bit. I see that. Don't move. What are you doing with your skirts? What's it look like? Don't get the wrong idea, George. This is to bandage your shoulder. Ow! The wound is clean, but it punched through pretty hard. Let's see if we can't stop the bleeding. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Not good, George. You don't want me to drag you down the hall, do you? That would be embarrassing for one of us. I've lost too much blood. That's what the infirmary's for. 
We've got every flavor of blood you could ever want. O positive, negative. I'm O positive. Of course you are. All right, you're bandaged up. Let's get going. Control. No back talk. We're not out of the woods yet on this thing. Hey, Harry. How's the prison food these days? Frost. You don't look happy. I'm a little less than thrilled. Uh, why is that? Oh, it's my day off, and I've been attacked by a bunch of nuts. Our computer system, a small team, has invaded the building. Is that why you're here? To move me to safety? No. I think we'll stay right here. Sounds like a plan to you? No offense, but you seem a bit unhinged at the moment. I would be, yeah. It was my day off. And I think I mentioned that. So you've come for a chat? Is that it? Just so you know. What's that for? If they get past Echo, I am going to blow your head off. Clean off. Frost? Do you comprehend what I just said? I don't have any idea. Did you understand what I just said, yes or no? Frost? Yes or no, we are past you being Control's ex who flitted off to feed you with funds not belonging to you. If you say so. I am saying so. And if anyone so much as opens that door, I am going to kill you. Okay. With extreme prejudice. I think maybe you need to calm down. I think that proves my intent. Yes? Yes. Why do I always get guard duty? Echo, post yourself right outside this door and don't let anyone through. Ugh. I should be out doing some target practice on these punks. You know what? What? Hey, Pendergast. How goes it? Echo, what, what do you need? You got any heat signatures for me to check out? I've been busy with other things. There are several people in this facility. Any of them moving my way? And you are... In the prison sector. Yes, three. Have fun. Gotta go. Hot dog! I hope these turkeys know how to eat lead! There. Let me... just say... Ow! Yep, I'm sure you're still in a lot of pain. Speaking of which... What was that? Got to numb your shoulder, George. Well, it's working. Good deal. Things are looking up around here. Oh, positive, right? Yes. And here we are with jugs of it. You're going to get the four-star treatment, George. I still have a bullet in my shoulder. Yeah, about that. Where are our medics? In the bunker down below. Shouldn't you call them or something? We don't have it all clear yet. Meaning? You figure it out. I have no... Take a deep breath, George. Control? That's doctor control to you for the moment. Now let's find that pesky bullet, shall we? Chew on that one, you jerk. You're welcome very much. Now while uh, you're occupied. Uh, what is it with everybody today? Are we trying to fend off an invasion? What? Tense, I take it? I sure am. So? Going to get him out of here once and for all. The Pentagon boys are in. Do they think they can get a location? At this point, we're just trying to keep him out of here. You're going to hate me, but it's a diversion. What? It most certainly is not. Whoever it is is working overtime to get in our system. Got time for a favor? Sure, for you anything. Want a massage, a game of tennis? Do you think you can track Harry Finley's movements since flying out to Fiji? Uh, hold on uh, uh, No, 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 Harry, just relax. Do you think you can do it? What do you think? Protocol? Has any rogue agent watched round the clock until brought in? I'm thinking our Harry here has been a busy world traveler. Let me know. Let you know? Uh, I'm up to my wheelchair wheels and... You know what? Fine. Mama is waiting for you, fellas. <laughs> and you think you're clever sneaking through the air duct? I heard you five minutes ago. Bye-bye. One down! Hey, clever! Send in your boy to distract me while you're waiting down at the... 
George, quit yelling in my face. I can feel you opening up the wounds. You're killing me. Oh, get tough. I've seen worse. Thanks a lot. We've hardly started. We still have to stitch you up once I get the bullet out of there. No, please. Quit being a baby. Ow! Would you quit that? You know what? I think this site is off just a tad. You act like you're enjoying it, but I know the routine. Scaring me won't help you any. Help me what? Figure this out? I've got it nailed right on the head, Harry. You see, control is good with politics and the money, but she brought me because I can do the one thing that a lot of intelligence agents don't do. What's that? Think. I've had the chance to have a long think about you, Harry. You can make that a bad habit. I did. When I was working for the agency, that's why I did what I did. I needed a permanent vacation. You should look into that. Yeah, I should. I won't, but thanks for the useless advice. You're awfully hostile. I am. I've just been sitting here doing nothing. About that. You may have been sitting, but you haven't been doing nothing. Trying to be clever isn't your thing, Frost. But it's yours, isn't it? I feel like we're speaking to each other in different languages here. You know what I'm implying. Stupid, you're not. Me? I'm just a bit slow. But I'm caught up now. Those gunshots are getting closer. Aren't you afraid? No, but you should be. Remember, I am going to blow your head off if one of those guys comes through that door. Then I better pray it's one of yours. You know what? I've decided I don't like that smirk on your face. Frost! Five more seconds, you maniac. I hope they blow up your house. Gotcha. Uh, I can feel every stitch your sewing control. You're imagining things. That was a pretty big bullet, wasn't it? You want to keep it, George? I can have it mounted on a necklace for you if you want. Just finish up so I can die. We're not halfway done yet. I'm going to have to get the blood transfusion started after this. Please, no. It's me, relax. Make yourself useful and cut this stitch. Hey, George, you made it. Barely. Done. Now let's get that blood bag. Iceland. You're joking. Nope, they backtraced his signal and sent in a strike force. They got the Icelandic peeps to comply? Someone owed us a favor. Any word? Cleared out by the time they arrived. Naturally. I'm starting to get just a little ticked off, you know that? I'm with you. I haven't worked this hard since I had my legs. Hey, George. Pendergast? You look awful. That would be me. Well, since no one's asking, I'll share. Every one of those punks is pushing daisies. Thank you, Echo. You didn't leave any one of them alive? They were coming at me with zip guns. What did you want me to do? Leave one of them alive. Frost. And a very bloody Harry Finley. Hey, Harry. Don't fret about anyone being left alive, Control. You shot him? Sure did. It was provoked. You need to do something about this maniac. I'd prefer you not to shoot our prisoners, Frost. Harry is a scum, but come on. Eh, he only nicked your earlobe. He blew my ear off. It's not like you to go around shooting. I did this time. The reason? He was insulting my intelligence by playing stupid. Anyone want to sew him up? Ooh, let me. No. So he just insulted you. Harry, quit squirming. Let's stop calling him Harry, shall we? What do you want us to call him? I'd like you to meet the mysterious, elusive Miller. Give me that gun. You've been listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Itchy Trigger Finger, The Raid. In the cast as Frost, Trent Poe, Echo, Alice Cashman, Control, Sela Tucker, Pendergast, Hagen Simmons, George Cameron Brown, Harry Finley, Austin Hancock. Script by Brett Jones. Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of Wichita State University Theater Department.
the Mutual Audio Network would like to extend our thanks to those who have paid the ultimate price and to those who have served and returned to their loved ones. Thank you for your service.